Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters, welcome back to my channel. It's time for a project pen update. Sorry, I just got dis distracted by the dog, she's being funny. Um, so, we're going to do project pen update, this is my update for the end of July, it's update number 7 for 2021. Um, if you are finding this video and you, you don't know how I project pan this year, what I'm doing is a full face project pan and uh, also body hair, nails, skin care, all that jazz, fragrance. Um, but I'm refreshing my projects every quarter and then in the last quarter I'm going to bring back everything I haven't finished, see how much more progress I can make on my stuff. So I do have an empty, here she comes. <laughs> she comes. I knew she was going to do it. She was getting ready. You're cute. Um, so this is the Neogen Aloe Soothing Mask. It's all ideally soothe and calm, delicate skin, Mexican aloe essential mask. Um, so I finished that one. It's whatever. My, my skin has been so dry. So, so, so fucking dry lately. I feel like I'm back on isotretinoin with the way that my skin is dry and shedding. It's it's a thing. Um, this was fine. It, I don't feel like it was anything like super amazing. Um, not something that I would rush out and buy again, but it was fine. I needed hydration. It gave me hydration. My next empty is the Soul Shimmering Dry Oil. It might not look empty, but um, look, let's discuss. So it's down here. It's pretty much all the glittery stuff. I'm so annoyed. I had it like all perfectly settled so you could very clearly see the difference between like just all of the glitter settled and all of the oil gone um but it it's like i must have knocked it over at some stage and um when i was gathering my shit together i was like well ruined that you can't fix it when it's like this so basically what i do is i let the shimmery glitter it's glitter it's straight up glitter i let it settle and then I use a pipette and I suck the oil out. And I've been putting it in this bottle with their body, I think it's a body milk, is that what they call it? And I mix them together and I really, like, I enjoy it. It's it's nice. It's light, it absorbs quickly, but we've got, like, the moisture moisturizer from, um, or, like, hydration from the moisturizer and then the oil like just helps with my shedding basically it helps to really like soften up the skin so it's easier to remove i'm not scrubbing up my body so much um now i did try just pumping some of this as is with the shimmer into this bottle and it ruined it it ruined it it turned it into like glitter i don't like it i I didn't like it when I first tried it out and I still don't like it now so uh, with the rest of my shimmering dry oils I am just going to get the oil out and use that because I genuinely like that oil formula um, so there we go this one I'm considering it done I am actually gonna wash that bottle out and uh, hold on to it for more moisturizers body moisturizers because I I've decided I hate things that don't have a pump. <laughs> I just love a pump. I love a good pump, especially for like body cleansers, body moisturizers, shampoos, shit like that. Like, give me a pump. I love a good pump. Uh, so anyway, that one or those two are done. I do also have two things that I am going to declutter. Um, the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow um gel dip dip brow gel yeah dip brow gel um i don't like this it's so fucking dry it's basically useless it doesn't go on the brows i mm -mm. i'm not no i <laughs> i'm gonna throw it in the bin because it's no good not interested um i'm also gonna get rid of this guy this is the ionic you ionic uh, propolis vitamin sleeping mask this broke me out so it's it's not going to work for me uh, also it's one of those like this was brand new when I put it in the project hence why I have discovered things about it this month it is basically just like a silicon formula and I personally yuck 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 I personally don't like 
I don't like those types of products. I find that they do tend to break me out, especially with like extended use. Um, yeah, I, my skin just doesn't doesn't really respond well to those types of products so there's no point keeping it in the project i'm not going to use it i am going to declutter that one uh i'm actually not going to introduce any more skincare products into this project at this point i'm hoping to do it with the next update because i'm basically like at the bottom of my current skincare routine um, my day moisturizer is almost done so I'm gonna have to go through my stash and find something else that I want to you know put in its place um, and I'm currently testing out night moisturizers because this didn't work out for me and I just want to make sure that um, whatever is in my routine like I'm happy to stick with and once I've worked that out I will like introduce the products because I do want to make sure that I focus on finishing up more skincare this year because I don't feel like I've done that well with skincare so you know but maybe next month I will have something to introduce okay let's do a uh, progress of other products so I did not use my Tatcha silk canvas primer last month I talked about how I'm doing this uh, powder project where I'm testing out all of my face powders and I thought I would be done by now but I'm I'm just not I, I kind of I dropped the ball in July um, so I haven't used my primer I also have not yet opened my new foundation I am still working on the foundation that I had in the project last time same foundation it's L'Oreal infallible pro glow I don't see the point in opening this brand new tube which is still sealed until I finish the other one because there's like maybe a week of daily use left in there but I don't do my makeup daily so <laughs> yeah it's uh it's it's been taking me longer than I thought. My concealer is the Nabla Close Up Concealer in the shade Cream Beige. So this was 34, 35 point, uh, oh my god, 35, 35.85 grams. It's now 35.29 grams. Also, come get your birds, guys. They're annoying the shit out of me. Um, I don't mind this concealer. It's not my favorite, though. It's not one that I would repurchase. I'm just going to use it, though. I don't... How much is in there? I have no idea. Does it say? Four mils. Four mils. Hopefully it won't take too long for me to <laughs> finish that up. Um, powder. Now, I put the Maybelline Fit Me powder in here because, like I said, I thought I would finish up my fucking powder project. Uh, but I haven't. But I have been using this a little bit. I am wearing it today. I don't mind it. I wouldn't repurchase it. It's not it's not really suitable for my skin type anymore. I find that it is a little bit drying and it does kind of looks heavy on the skin, which I do not like. Not not a fan. Um, I do apply it very, very lightly, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, we'll I'll work on finishing it up. So it was 78.95 grams, now 77.9 three grams. Let's talk about something else that I did not use. This guy, the Uspa Soothing Hydro Mist. Um, so I didn't use this again because I'm doing my powder project and if you're just finding me like for the first time with project panning, I'm doing a, a project where I uh, test out all of my products in certain categories this year and I'm currently doing powders and when I use certain base products I don't like to uh, sway the results by using primer or setting mist so it just hasn't been used it is what it is it those products have been going to the wayside this year but I don't I don't really care my NARS Angel Pride cheek palette so I did make some progress on this this was 243.21 grams now 242.59 grams so a little bit of progress um i'm mostly using the bronzer obviously uh with, you know with only a month of very light use um i'm not seeing any you know progress 
Um, when it comes to the blushes, these guys I've used, I've also used this one. Um, I, I'm not really a fan of pink blushes, to be perfectly honest. The highlighter is pretty. I am wearing it today. I think it's quite subtle, though. Uh, but I don't mind that for, like, normal every day where I would look I would actually say that this is just a nice soft subtle everyday palette um this blush is quite pigmented the rest are fairly soft I would say they're easy to wear in a very subtle way so I don't mind this like I'm I'm fine I'm happy happy using it. My Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. I've been enjoying this. This is a nice product. So it was 16.14 grams, now 15.84 grams. I'm happy continuing on using this. It's, you know, I love that it's in a tube. It's not going to dry up. It's easy to dispense a small amount. It works really well. Like, I can't, I can't complain. Okay, let's get into these guys. So I have my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner here. This was 5.38 grams, now 5.36 grams. It's pretty much the way that these sort of liners go. Very slow progress, but that's okay. My coloured liners, so these guys here, I have Colourpop Venus, which is an absolutely stunning red shade. I'm wearing it on my lower lash line today. Um, I've only worn this once, so there's no uh, progress to show. It's still 4.38 grams. And the Clio Gel Presso Waterproof uh, Pencil in Firewood. I'm like, is it Rosewood? No, it's Firewood. Um, this one I've actually used quite a few times. Um, it is a retractable pencil, which means I can't sharpen it, which means I can't get, like, you know, <laughs> extra use out of it. Um, or the action of sharpening a pencil, something like this, doesn't take weight away from it. All of the use is literal product use. It is still 5 grams solid. And, uh, look, I was expecting some progress with that, but... Apparently not. Uh, Benefit Roller Lash. This one. I forgot to put on lashes today. I put on mascara but not lashes. Oh, bugger. Oh, well. Moving on. Doesn't matter. Uh, this one was 24.38 grams. Now 24.22 grams. I'm still enjoying this. It's quite nice. Um, I find that this one wears better than... What did I have in the last project? Bad Gal Bang. I had a little mini of Bad Gal Bang um, in my last quarter. Um, this wears better. It doesn't transfer as much onto, like, my, like, under my eyes or on my brow bone. Um, and I, look, the only time I had a problem with this was actually on the weekend just gone. I went and had uh, lunch with my friends and I put on sunscreen and I... I made the mistake of doing my skincare routine too quickly uh, and not letting the layers sort of set and absorb and um, yeah it just fucked my base from the start and once all of the like oils and stuff started to come through the 10,000 kilos of powder that I put on my face to set everything um, it started to melt my mascara so that was my fault because that was that's not how you do your makeup not how i do my makeup anyway uh okay so next we have these guys let's do ulta pencil the brow pencil ulta <laughs> Ultra Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Taupe. Uh, this one was 3.42 grams, now 3.4 grams. <laughs> oh, it's painful, isn't it? Look, I didn't wear too much makeup in July, I can tell you that much. Um, can we see that? That's what we have left. Uh, I don't think there'll be an issue finishing that up in the next three months. It's just a matter of actually using it. Then I have the EXO Beauty Smooth On Lip Pencil in the shade Tracy. This one was 3.92 grams, now it's 3.82 grams. I pretty much pair this with every lip colour I put on. 
whether it's a nude, it's a pink, it's a red, it's whatever. I don't really care. I just put it on. It's a beautiful mauvey colour. It, it's sort of what I would consider like, not my lips but better, it, but it's similar colour to my own lip colour but on the cool spectrum which is really cool. I like the way it looks. So that one uh, still going strong and I'm happy using it. Okay, let's move on to nail polishes. Uh, let's start with this one. This is Graceful Nail Polish in the shade Siren Tail. So this one was 53.52 grams. It's now 52.39 grams. I really like this color looking at it. I'm like, you're beautiful. Also, it's glittery. It's very opaque. It's beautiful. But I don't think it's flattering on me at all. I, I don't know. I feel like the color just doesn't look good on me. Um, I am going to keep it in the project. I'm going to play around with some more like, you know, color, whatever they call this thing where you use like different but similar colors. I'm going to do that with this, see if I can make it something that I love. But yeah, blue nail polish. I know I had another one. I had an OPI. Oh, was it something in Salsalito. I can't remember what it was called. Hang on, let me check my list. I'm sure I wrote it down. OPI Incognito in Salsalito. Um, I decluttered that as well. It was like a dark blue that almost looked black, but not quite as nice as what black looks like, if that makes sense. And, you know, the reason why I didn't keep it was because I thought if I'm going to wear a color this dark, I may as well just use a black which simply looks more flattering. Then we have the Layla Cloudy Violet Hollow Nail Polish. Uh, this one I do like the look of, it's fine. Uh, it was 34.44 grams, now 33.86 grams. So there we go. My fragrance, this is Beyonce Heat. So when I introduced it, it was here. I don't know if you can really see that line, but it is now down here. I feel like that looks like good progress. Um, and I will say, I even when I'm not using my um, makeup or skincare all that much, like if I'm dropping the ball with that, I still will remember to put perfume on when I'm going out. So I feel like... I feel like that's where I'm making my best progress this year. I'm not even joking. It's pretty bad, but I feel like fragrance is where I'm doing all right this year. Um, now, it looks like good progress, but this is like one of the thinnest parts of the bottle. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But to be honest, I think I'm going to be able to finish this maybe in the next two months. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. It's a 50 ml bottle and it did have some usage before I put it in the project. So I don't know, I, mm, maybe, maybe, at least by the end of the year, maybe, we'll find out. Okay, my Lush Shower Jelly. This is the Conga Shower Jelly. It was here on the last update and you're probably looking at that going, Hayley, you didn't use it. I did use it, I did, I did indeed. Look at what is left in there. So the whole thing, like that whole level was full. Um, when I introduced it into the project and um, basically all I do is I keep this in my shower obviously and I have this little mesh bag and it's probably like this big and I just break off a chunk and I put it in the bag and then like I foam up the bag and use it kind of like a washcloth with a built-in cleanser and I love it. I think it's a fantastic way to use these because these are otherwise they're a little bit difficult to get them foamy very easily just slip out of your hands it's kind of annoying to use on its own I feel like this absolutely needs a little mesh bag and I don't know if Lush sell them if they don't they should um, but yeah this is like the best way to use a product like this and you get that nice um, like gentle exfoliation and the feeling of like deep cleaning yourself with a cloth um, as opposed to just 
rubbing a bit of like slippery jelly over your body which <laughs> sounds disgusting but anyway that'll definitely be done probably within like I don't know the next week or so um, and I need to continue to use my lush shower stuff the problem with the lush shower stuff is the body washes and the shower gels not the jellies they take forever to use up and I get sick of them before I get to the bottom of them and I have to rotate through them and I've got so many of them that I feel like I'm never making progress so there's that my hair product is the Davinez Oi all-in-one milk so this was God, you're not going to be able to see it it was up here it is now down here so a little bit of progress I do pair this with a hair oil and sometimes I use like other products to you know play around with them um, but yeah the progress is slow but I don't mind that because I like always making sure that I have a hair product in my routine that like I know and I can rely on um, <sighs> I hate it when I get to a point in my hair routine with my products where everything's low or finished and I'm going to go through my drawer and pull out a whole bunch of different stuff to use uh, because it's always like I, d I don't know what my hair is going to be like. <laughs> now obviously I always have the option of just repurchasing um, products that I already know work for me but I like trying new products that's the whole point I wouldn't have a beauty channel at all if I just used the same products over and over it would be boring as fuck <laughs> more boring than it is now okay let's do skin stuff um so these are my sheet masks that I've got going on that I didn't use we're not surprised that I only use one mask in a month that's completely normal for me I have my Muji oil cleanser here so I was here and I'm now down here a little bit of progress that's fine I do have a lot of oil cleansers on the go um, now something that I didn't introduce two things that I wanted to introduce last month and I forgot but I've marked them like I marked them last month and Look, one of them I've been using and one I failed. But I'm just going to show them to you now. And they're part of the project. So, a cleanser. This is the... Not that you can see it. It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. Uh, so, this one was here when I introduced it last month and didn't show it to you. And it's now down here. Um, I don't mind this cleanser. It's alright. I don't. It's not particularly drying, which I like. Uh, but it's fairly effective. It's got a low lather. Uh, I wouldn't buy it again, but I don't hate it and I'm enjoying using it basically. So there we go. Um, now, ugh, I've got a lot of makeup removers. So I've got, I've got this guy and I've got uh, two other oil type cleansers from previous months. <laughs> I've got the Huda one which I'm still slowly working on. And I've got, um, what's, what's it called? Neutrogena, the deep clean oil. And I'm still going on that one as well. But I'm bringing in another product because I want to finish this by the end of the year. I want it gone. <laughs> uh, this is a BioEffect Micellar Cleansing Water. I have been working on it for a long time, trying to get through it. Uh, so, well, you can see it's here and I have... I marked it um, and I used this I think I used it like once in the last month um, and look I don't think it's very effective it's very very expensive but not like just buy Bioderma I'm not even I'm sorry I really like BioEffect as a brand um, they are bougie but this just isn't very effective unfortunately um, so yeah, I want to I wanna use it. I want it gone. Some nights I am lazy with my skincare routine. I don't want to wash my face at the fucking sink. So I'll use this and then I'll use a toner and then I'll go in with my skincare and then I'll go the fuck to bed. 
because I'm tired. And I do want to introduce two more products uh, to replace my finished up body oil, which isn't finished up. I'm still working on it, but look, body products, I am going through them because my body is going through it with the dryness. We'll lead up. <laughs> <laughs> can't see it at all uh white mallow body lotion i'm gonna chuck that one in there it is quite full she's up here and uh brows so the abh dip brow gel rubbish um i'm replacing that with a clinique just browsing so i've got two of these in my drawer one is sealed this one is open so i want to you know get some use out of it because it would be fair to say that this should be decluttered at the end of the year no matter what all right guys so that's it for me and my project plan update number seven i will see you in a month with another update feel free to leave your comments down below let me know how you're going with your project plans and i'll catch you in the next one bye